Now it's focused. Well, look at him now, man. It's yep. like a light bulb down there. Yeah. Dead buck. We ain't shooting him. Good buck on the last day, but not today. There's a nice little three point. Well, he's a pretty good sized three point. Joe killed his buck yesterday. Now it's my turn behind the trigger, looking for a bigger buck than that for right now. But we saw him last night and now got good footage of him this morning. But we're gonna walk away from him and uh, keep him out of the pocket. We'll have our, we call them backup bucks. So this one's a backup for the last day. If we have to, we will. Time to go find something a lot bigger. Stay with us, High Country Carnage. Everybody, it's Alan Burrow with High Country Carnage. Me and Joe we hunted yesterday all day and we got the top of this drainage last night and we spotted a small four point buck. We got a little bit of footage of him through the spotting scope at like 16, 1800 yards. He was a nice, really nice four point, but we couldn't get to him anyways and we're just trying to pick him Alan, apart. Alan. What, what, what? He's coming over the top. There he is, dude, there he is. Oh, doesn't he? Yes. Hold still. Still there? Yeah, he's there. Go ahead.
dead. He's dead walking. He's still going up. Dead now. Dead now. <laughs> That's right where I killed my broken foot buck, dude. Yeah. Well, me and Joe saw this buck yesterday, last night actually, and he was about 1,600 yards, 1,400 yards, and it's just not a lot of not a lot of big deer, a lot of does, fawns, and this is actually the best buck we've seen, and we didn't know if he was a shooter or not last night, but we come up this ridge. And he come over right like I said they do. They come around and I think he's better than we thought. We couldn't see the mass at that distance, but he's got decent mass, good forks, great fronts, 24, 25 wide. I mean, he, he, I don't know what he's going to score, but obviously I'm done. My, my gun, <laughs> my gun was on. <sighs> Death's going to be mad, but that was a solid... I hit right behind the shoulder. First shot was right behind the shoulder. Second, second one, shot was neck. Second one I was kind of panning, but uh, I think we got him on there. I hope you got the kill shot. <laughs> I hope you I got I hope I did. Does this say record? It's recording now. Yeah. I wasn't prepared for that second shot. I didn't know you were taking it. Oh yeah, I always follow up. High country carnage. Does it again, pulls another good buck off the mountain. But I wasn't going to be that picky this year. With the with the weather getting hot, and there's just a ton of people up here, so kind of hard to pass that buck up on public land. I'm yeah. telling you what, that is a really really good public land buck. He was bigger than what he looked like last night, laying there. Well, I knew he would be once we got over here a little closer. Yeah, we wanted to definitely, that's why we came in here. We walked in, uh, we're about six miles in right now. Our, our positioning was really good. We walked where we were supposed to walk, we stopped where we were supposed to stop. Yeah, I told you I've killed a bunch of deer in here, dude. I know what, I know where, where they come from, I know what they do. It's just, you know, 35 years of hunting one spot. That's what puts the advantage in our favor against all these people. I think that's gonna be a good buck, dude. Stay with us, we're gonna go get him with High Country Carnage. Well, I got my big buck down, guys. High Country Carnage. Me and Joe are gonna just work our way up to him. We've, he's down, so let's go. Did I shoot a mountain goat or something? Oh no, man. These rocks are crazy. Freaking sideways. I mean, this is a horse's face. Holy <laughs> balls. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that that wasn't staged. I'm serious. That was not staged. He really fell on his butt. You're lucky my de my deer's dead up there. Oh, dude. <laughs> Between that and my coffee, I don't know what the heck we're gonna do. <laughs> we still gotta get him out of here. <laughs> oh my god, this is steep. Stepped on that stupid root ball and it gave way. <laughs> I got it too, so welcome to YouTube, Bill. <laughs> not how I wanted to make my debut. Well, the good thing is, I'm tagged out. I didn't even see what time it is. What time is it? Well, it's early enough. We're gonna be uh, drinking beers in camp by by noon, one o'clock. So we still got six miles to get the hell out of here. So the, the work is not over, but it's always a relief when you know your tag is punched in public land with 50,000 other freaking yahoos and the ethical true hunters get it done again. We 
see more people in a day than we see deer sometimes. Yep. Like we always say, we always feel like we're the ones that's going to find them first and get it done, and we did. Only three days for two deer. That's not bad. I'm tr trying not to get Joey in there. quality deer. All right, I'm going to take this thing off the hover vision. Next, we'll be sitting under or over my buck. See you then. Well, here we go, guys. High Country Carnage 2017. <clears throat> Here's the buck I just shot with Joe Richardson. It's the one we saw last night. You're going to see some pre-footage of that through the spotting scope. It was about 16, 1800 yards away, and we just couldn't get him on last night or get on him last night. But uh, we came up a different direction this morning to just to get a good look at him up close. He's not a monster, but you gotta you gotta take in, in consideration the public land hunting that we do out west here. And uh, this is a great representation of what we have, you know, readily available to us on public land with thousands, thousands and thousands of out-of-staters, in-staters, anybody. They're just people. Every every ridge has someone, and you know, you're blessed to kill something like this in public land. So, uh, pretty excited actually. I'm jacked. We got good footage for you. We got another hunt. And I got a lot of frickin' meat to go in the freezer. And that's, that's the main point of killing these deer is just feel, putting the best meat you can eat in the freezer. We preach it all the time. Made a 211 yard shot just like Joe Richardson did uh, three days ago on his buck. You just can't pass this kind of deer up public land. It's an awesome buck. I'm excited. So that's my second tag filled. So stick with us. We're going to try to get a couple other people and uh, get them in on some deer too. Stay with us. High Country Carnage. <laughs>